going on? Okay, not good, not good! Oh. You need to mind your manners around a lady. The thing we need is... Yes, yes. It's on my to-do list. I know why you're here, Silver Surfer. But I'm still not sure what Loki and Doom want with your boss. Reed Richards and Hulk are ready to stop Lady Liberty. Are you sure you want Wolverine on this operation? I know cooperation isn't in his nature, but we need him. You'll need a plane to follow Magneto and, I can't believe I'm even saying this, the Statue of Liberty. We've prepped a Hulk-proofed vehicle to take you to the Statue of Liberty. Wolverine will meet you there. I hope those guys are alright. Must be weird seeing something bigger and greener than yourself stomping around for a change. Hey, Bruce? <laughs> Don't worry. We'll take Lady Liberty down and get you back on top in no time. You guys sure took your time. You ready for our little field trip? Roxxon undisputedly leads the world in energy production. Its power plant, located a short distance from New York, is rumored to contain some kind of experimental reactor core. Come, my mutant brothers. We need to core this nuclear plant. <laughs> Hulk! Punch, big lady! Hulk, be careful! She's a national oh. treasure! And her hat is really pointy! Lego Marvel Superheroes Walkthrough. This is going to be the 11th level in Lego Marvel, and you get to play as the Hulk and a couple of other people. Uh, who do you get to play as? I know Captain America. Okay, maybe not Captain America yet. That's interesting. I don't remember that. Huh. I just... Anyway. Moving on. Uh, play as the Hulk, and you get to play as Wolverine, and you also get to play as Mr. Fantastic. So... Uh, one new thing you'll learn about the Hulk is that he is invincible to toxic waste. And that is probably because he is toxic waste. And you can just, uh, you can just, uh, use the Hulk to walk in the toxic waste and pull the wall open and then jump on the platforms with Mr. Fantastic and Wolverine. Just try not to die, but platforming in LEGO games is a skill of its own, I think. <laughs> And then slash this wall open with Wolverine. I tried to get up there with the Hulk for some reason. Uh, you actually can get up there with the Hulk. And you can smash it with the Hulk, but you don't need to use the Hulk. I'm not really sure why I used Hulk. 
I don't know. I must not have been thinking clearly. Anyway, use the claw switch with Wolverine, and then this conveyor belt will spit out a uh, object that will actually be useful for you. So break open the object, build the Fantastic Four spot, and then use Mr. Fantastic to free the torch that is blocking your path. With the mouse trap, and his head is the cheese. Okay, cheese head, didn't know you were from Wisconsin. Anyway, uh, it is Wisconsin, right? That's a cheese state? I hope it is. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, when you're up here, you're gonna need to swing over uh, with Mr. Fantastic, and that is not what I meant by swing over. Uh, you first you need to switch to the Hulk and uh, pull open, or pull out this board so the whole thing falls apart, and that way you can now swing over. And you're also going to need to uh, use Wolverine so you can slash that wall. Now this part is actually pretty annoying because they make it somewhat difficult to get the Hulk up there. And even once you get him onto the elevator, it's really easy to just walk off and you'll see me do it once. But first get Wolverine to use his superhuman sense to walk on the wall, or I guess he just claws the wall and then slice the wall and switch to Mr. Fantastic so you can use the terminal. And when you rapidly tap X here, you'll see that the uh, elevator goes up, but you have to rapidly tap X, you know, with the Hulk on it. So once you realize that, stop tapping X, switch to the Hulk, and then step on the elevator, switch back to Mr. Fantastic, and then get the Hulk up there really annoying trying to switch to the right character here because you'll often switch to Wolverine instead of the Hulk or the other way around. Then when you switch back to the Hulk don't walk down immediately because you'll just fall off like I did. What you want to do is uh, walk to the right <laughs> and the reason I walked down is because I thought I was still on the elevator but you're not on the elevator you're on the platform so switch to the Hulk and then walk to the right pick up this thing and then throw it at the wall and that will free the hand. I had no idea that Lady Liberty could feel pain. Jump over with everybody and this is also an interesting spot kind of. I don't like this le level was just weirdly designed. It's kind of genius but at the same time it was weird. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. So use this platform with Mr. Fantastic, and then you'll have to... Well, Wolverine will jump on it automatically. And then you can just get off, and Wolverine will make his way over here for some reason. Well, I know why I did, but I mean, I switched... Okay, I was right. Anyway, for some reason, I switched to Wolverine, and then I switched back, and Wolverine decided to walk off. And that was kind of odd. But to get over here with Mr. Fantastic, you just have to go through this grating, and to get over there with the Hulk, no problem, walk through the toxic waste, you'll be fine. But because Wolverine decided to just walk off of the platform, uh, I need to get him back on there. And you don't actually have to stay on this terminal. I did for a little bit just to make sure he'd stay over there. And then get over there with Mr. Fantastic. And defeat the enemies if they get in your way. You'll have to switch to the Hulk to step on that one switch. And then you'll need Wolverine and Mr. Fantastic to step on both switches on the left or the right side. Uh, on the left and right side of that bigger switch. As I said a few levels ago, the uh, zapping enemies, the electrocuting ones, are very annoying because they like to zap you and then send you backwards 10 feet. And in the case of the Hulk, they actually might turn you into the Doctor who is not the Hulk. And that can be annoying trying to switch back into the, uh, <laughs> the Hulk again because it just takes a while. But get rid of the enemies if they're being pests, which they all were, and then... Step on the buttons. And get inside the elevator. Now this is weird. You can't step inside there with the Hulk. You have to switch to someone else. 
But even if you do that... Oh wait, no. No, you have to be the Hulk to do this. And I don't know why, but the elevator is just too small for the Hulk and those other two characters. So, you see there, Wolverine barely fits. He has to get shoved in by those doors. So, I don't know. Whoever designed that elevator almost feels like they didn't try to get in it because it is way too small. So there's a save point if you so desire to save and then go get a snack and then come back to beat this level another hour or something. I don't know. Now this was extremely aggravating because there's a part that I would normally cut out but I kept it in just to show you what I mean. And can't hurt me bub, I have no idea what that achievement was for. Anyway, uh, you need to time... Uh, you need to time you walking on the cylindrical platform with the big electric uh, generator of death that's swinging and it can be annoying because it's a little bit faster than you, and also your teammates, if you're not playing with someone else, they are stupid, and you'll see that here in a second. So first, just use the Hulk to pull this off, and then use Wolverine to climb up with his superhuman sense. This is a really long level, it's like, what? Close to 20, 25 minutes maybe? I don't know. Anyway, use his superhuman sense again on this thing. I don't even know what to call any of this. <laughs> and I'm getting rid of some of these enemies because they're just being annoying. Wolverine's attacks are pretty good too because they're not too long. So climb on that wall and then hit these other enemies or just activate the claw switch. This will allow you to get through this uh, uranium fuel rod without getting killed as quickly. And you still have to time it, but you only have to do it with Mr. Fantastic and with the Incredible Hulk. But if you haven't noticed, Mr. Fantastic is nowhere to be seen. And you'll see exactly where he is or where he is and isn't in a second here when I need him. And you're going to need him to get past this part because you need to pull down that handle. So in a second, I'll be switching between the two characters, trying to figure out where the heck is Mr. Fantastic. So here I am. Can't find him, can't find him. I'm like, okay, he must be back there. And then getting back on this platform is difficult because uh, it's just harder to go with something that turns like that. And of course, this guy turns back into the doctor. And you can't actually jump over it, so... This whole thing was just very annoying. This level had some very strange designs. And you'll see right there, there's Mr. Fantastic getting zapped infinitely over and over. Me too. And over. And, you know, he can't get past it because he's walking into the stupid railing and not actually getting on the platform. So, I'm trying to get around and I'm figuring, trying to, like, why am I falling off there? And it turns out there's a big gaping hole on that side of the platform. But you'll see here, Mr. Fantastic just, there he is, walks up, gets stuck there, and then he dies. I mean, <laughs> and I did manage to switch to him right as he died. That was awesome. And of course, he goes back there, so you just have to walk your way here. And I got really close to getting zapped there, but I made it. And then once you figure that out, hopefully you don't have that much uh, problem with this level. Once you get him over here, use his arm to pull down the handle. And you can continue in the level. I'll crush you with this copper clad footwear. Hey, watch it, Bob. Hey, we're inside the statue. You know, I've lived in New York all this time and I've never been inside this thing. Allow me to give you the tour. Beginning our attack run now. So the Lady Liberty stepped on you, but conveniently there was a hole inside of her foot and she had an 
she had a ladder inside of her leg, which I think there actually are ladders inside her leg, because they have to go in there and, you know, maintain her. You can't just have a giant statue from the French and expect it to stay perfect. When have the French ever made anything perfect? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so use Wolverine to get on top of here and use the claw switch to activate the uh, big platform that's going to be raising up and down. I guess that makes it an elevator. And for some reason, my preview screen is being a little bit jittery. I think I might have Blank on again doing the SETI at home, but... Anyway, I hope that's not in the actual video. <laughs> it probably won't be. I'm sure the video's smooth as it ever could be. So you need to get the Hulk over here to the left side so you can open up that uh, open up that door. And this was what I was talking about a couple of videos ago, where you might not be able to build some things sometimes. Like right there, you saw me standing in the middle of those Legos, and I wasn't building them for a couple of seconds, and that was because the remaining missing Legos had to be spawned and dropped from the sky, because for some reason they like to fall off the edge, and when they do that they disappear, and when they disappear you can't build it, so it respawns it, then you can build it, and it's kind of annoying, but as I said in the previous video, if that ever happens to you, if you just can't build a Lego, then just wait a couple of seconds and you should be able to build it. And if you still can't build it, destroy more things around it because you probably didn't destroy all the objects that give you the Legos, but you'll you'll be seeing that happen a lot where I can't build it because it needs to spawn the rest of them in the rest of this walkthrough. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> So, once again, you're going to need either Wolverine or the Hulk here so you can open up that door. But there's a big fire blocking the path. So, uh, break open this box with Mr. Fantastic, then use it with Mr. Fantastic. And you will be able to put out the fire and get the Hulk over here. So when you're up here, you'll want to switch back to Mr. Fantastic so you can go through the grating and you're once again going to have to use him to get the Hulk and Wolverine on uh, this other side of the stage. So break down that uh, bridge and then switch to... who did I switch to? The Hulk so you can open up the door here. And then once you get on top of there with Wolverine and with Mr. Fantastic, you're going to have to get the Hulk up once again with the elevator that you can see there on the left side. So jump up there with someone. For some reason, this ladder was hard to get on. I don't... Oh, because it has the weird uh, guard, drop guards, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but you'll need to be Mr. Fantastic so you can pull down that lever on the left side and that will let the elevator go up and down. And of course you can fall to your death at any given moment if you so desire. Just some weird glitchy thing. I was actually, I wasn't on the platform there and it wasn't letting me jump, so I just figured the best option was to die so I could respawn. Anyway, break that box, build this plank, come over here, you'll have to use Wolverine to open up that wall. And you'll have to put out yet another fire so the Hulk can actually get across because he's too fat to go on that plank. So build the Fantastic Four spots, which it wasn't letting me do because, as you saw there, they had to fall from the sky. Once all the Lego pieces are there, build it, get in it with Mr. Fantastic. 
put out the fire, and then you'll be able to move that airplane with the Hulk and get to the rest of the level. Truly unbeatable mutant power to control your mind. Alright, so sorry I didn't say anything there, but I had to respond to a text, and I really don't feel like stopping the narration just for one text, and I felt like it was self explanatory anyway. Uh, but once you go up that spiral staircase, you end up fighting this boss, and the first thing he will do is take control of Wolverine. And what you need to do is just keep attacking Wolverine, keep attacking and attacking and attacking. And then you will be able to switch to Wolverine and take out a heart from the uh, mind control guy. And he will do that to each of the different characters and it can be a little bit more difficult trying to damage the Hulk, but it's not too bad. I just, I think I used Wolverine and then uh, you just do that three times and this boss will be finished and the level will be complete. Where? What happened to me? Are you okay? Mastermind took control of you, Logan. Perhaps a more scientific mind will prove more controllable. Was on the same stunt again? Gotta fight it, Richards! Snap out of it, Stretch! Get back! Get away from me! of two minds. They will both now belong to me.
down there. Magneto has exposed the nuclear core. Off with her head! <laughs> 